traditional institution is one of the oldest institutions of administration in Nigeria. This institution is rooted in the laws of the land, carrying along its history, traditions, and culture. <laughs> Culture is not only dynamic but complex. It is a process of self assertiveness. If you know the culture of a people, it is likely that you can predict the people because it's a complex whole of all the things they do uh, their custom, the way they greet, their food, cuisine, and even their technology and the arts. Within my domain, I can proudly say that we have been doing a lot to sustain that social legacy we call our culture. The sociocultural norms and values embedded in the traditional institution had prominence from the pre-colonial times, where traditional rulers played key roles and were agents of indirect rule. In the matter of politics, the amalgamation of the northern and southern protectorates puts the traditional institution at the center stage of politics. Yeah, um, in the pre-colonial time, the traditional institution played a lot of role in the governance. This rules, as you see, can see, is more prominent in the northern Nigeria. In northern Nigeria, where you have the local government system started through the indirect rule, that was the governance. There was House of Chiefs to imitate the north. The Emirate system is what we have as local government system now, where the local government is domiciled in the Emirate, and the Emir is all in charge of the local government. We just borrow that system in the east. So it's not cohesive, it's not that, that working. After the House of Chiefs, which was like an upper house at that time, House of Chiefs and House of Commons in the Eastern Nigeria system. But now you can see it has been embedded directly by government. In the post-independence era, traditional institutions have limited constitutional role or functions in governance and administration. In the light of this, how effective has the traditional institution been? For you to uh, work effectively, you must be very, very independent as a chief. A good chief must be very independent. You must have your uh, uh, economically buoyant to control the system. And that is why taxation is paid to the Emirates system. Like the taxation, like the local government that they pay taxation to. So it's like a mix things that we can't understand, you know, it's not, it's not well defined. The traditional institution plays a key role in peace advocacy and governance. It is expected that the institution should not be a tool or machinery for politicking or partisan politics, rather should take a visible role and center stage in hosting both serving and aspiring politicians and guiding them right. You can't talk about Nigeria without talking about the ethnic culture, the ethnic kingdom, where civilization started. These are the great sons of Africa that had the first contact with the white people. I believe that any other culture in Africa should come and learn from the ethnic kingdom. You have made me proud. As respected leaders who have been given that honor, you owe your communities, you owe your place that duty to do anything you can to protect them. The institution should be a notable force to be reckoned with, to drive a transparent political process and be an agent for political and cultural integration.